That is me, locked in an underground prison cell where I'll be living in and live streaming myself 24-7 until I dig my way out using only a spoon. Uh, starting now. Oh, we're live? Basically, I have to free myself with the spoon. By digging a tunnel to the escape hole where I'll climb a ladder to freedom. The thing is, I don't know how far away it is. So, I'm gonna dig in a straight line until I reach sunlight. And the more viewers I have live, the weaker and tinier my spoon becomes. Right now, I have the mega spoon. And if we hit 100,000 live, a concrete wall will be poured at the end of my tunnel. We all know my history with concrete walls. Ah! I'm fucking stuck! And every hour a poll will appear in the live chat that will give the viewers a chance to control my life. We gotta prove to the viewers how this works, alright? Like what I should eat for lunch. Down here, the chat has all the power. And the question is, will they abuse it? Are you kidding me? L, L for the dog food. First poll over. First poll over? What did I get? What did I get? Are you kidding me? You see my dog? Bark, bark, bark! Now you get how this works. Bon appetit. Ah. Ah. You guys are disgusting. Ah. Ah. It was at this moment I realized I may have made a mistake. <laughs> Meanwhile, the next poll went live, asking the chat which stranger should join me in the hole. Yo, what is going on, dude? Who are these people, chat? I got voted in. Who are you, dude? JD. Uh, JD, 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 JD. <laughs> But after making pathetic digging progress with this guy, JD, talking nonstop with a giant knife in his hand, he wouldn't even let me poop in peace. It was time for him to go. All right, JD, I'm gonna kick you out. Okay. Let's get to work. With JD gone, I finally got some momentum going. The beginning of my tunnel could be seen, but after having only eaten dog food all day, my energy was depleted, and it smelled like human feces down here. Yeah, I'm fucking dying down here, Chad. And to make things worse, it was 105 degrees down here, as Texas was experiencing a record high heat wave, and a poll from hell was about to enter the live chat. You're about to be given an option to make my life even more difficult. Out of all of these, the sauna suit might actually kill me. But luckily, I think the chat is on my side. Oh my god, dude. A sauna suit. It's already like 105 outside, dude. Oh my god. Four hours on the clock, chat. I can already feel the heat, dude. I'm a little bit concerned for my health. Chat wants to test my true strength. I love them for that. But with the pole forcing me to do jumping jacks, even I was nearing my physical limitations. Look at this. Look at this. Ready? Look at that, you saw that? I'm like a water fountain, baby. 24 hours of digging, I was physically broken. And the chat had begun to realize the power they now held. You got all of the alarms. I'm gonna put my shirt on. Good night, guys. I'm gonna go to bed. And after the worst sleep of my life, with chat concerningly watching me as I drifted into a peaceless slumber, I knew if I wanted to get out of here before I lost my mental sanity, I would have to unleash my true form. Giga Tyler. Giga Tyler's been activated, chat. Giga Tyler, baby! Giga Tyler's out. <laughs> 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 Giga Tyler has been born! Giga Tyler is here! Giga fucking Tyler! We got momentum now. My dream of freedom looked achievable within a week, a month. Honestly, I couldn't tell from the inside. But even Giga Tyler could not be protected from the poles, as chat now had to choose which restrictive heat stroke inducing outfit I would wear in this hellhole. What do you think I am, a military unit? I spoke too soon. Brother, tell me I look like Putin right now. Alright, soldiers, warriors, cult members, spam W in the chat if you believe I can free myself, chat. Spam W in the chat if you believe I can liberate myself, chat. And my relentless digging 30 hours in began to bear the fruits of hope as the scent of liberation and human poop wafted in my prison cell. You have a choice between a birthday cake, a Red Bull cake, and a carrot cake. And after narrowly avoiding a Red Bull cake and refueling with a proper American breakfast, my progress could not be thwarted. Now this is an American breakfast. And chat decided to gift me a loyal cult member and friend to help me dig for the next 60 minutes. Hey, Zach, is that my sister's ex-boyfriend? And I had a surprise for him that would change his life forever. There he is, chat! You oh, gifted me a soldier! Oh, <laughs> 
Okay. All right, chat. We've not had a, a single human being see my <laughs> poop hole yet. Oh god. I have to do the honors. Yeah, dude. You've been gifted. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> no! I was real. <laughs> Can you believe that? <laughs> We're gonna pick what Zach wears, chat. And after the chat, customize Zach's drip, we begin to dig. Okay, let's go, chat. Let's go, now we win. Right. If you're not in the cult already, all you have to do is press sub, make some of the most hardcore videos on YouTube. See Zach. I'll miss you, Tyler. And after my only friend in this hole left me, I was back where I started. Just me, the dirt, my poop bucket, and chat, who tested my strength every chance they got. And to be honest, it was getting lonely. Apparently, there are some concerning psychological effects of isolating someone in a small prison cell for a long period of time. Not that I would know. I just don't know how much longer this is gonna take. And my body was showing the physical cost of being down here for this long. Nosebleed situation. It happens once I reach nearly 100% of my limits. Rehan says, you good? I appreciate you asking, Rehan. 31 hours in, three feet deep. Heat stroke looked like an unavoidable reality. Crap, I got a bloody nose again. No! a lot of blood actually but the chat decided it was time to bless me given the option to let five dudes date me or two ladies i'm a little bit intimidated i need to freeze this place asap chat i'm nervous we gotta bring the party to you chat guys have won the poll Sorry. You are thinking of your past. <laughs> I had nowhere to run to, and the men just kept coming. How you doing, hey. man? Nice place you got here. <laughs> I uh, saw your front door was open, so I just kind of let myself in. <laughs> yeah, you surely did. <laughs> yo. Well, I, I was actually going to ask you, too. No, uh, yo, how much time we got left? If, if you were a pirate, would you have your parrot on this shoulder? Or this shoulder? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know who this is, it's Jake. And I figured I'd get you laid on down here. How can you make this much progress? Oh, you're amazed. Bro, chat's saying make out. Time is over, send him back up. But <laughs> After dating five men, a real woman appeared out of nowhere. Your time is up. I'm sorry. All right. What's your name? My name is Nisha. Okay, I'm Tyler. Jazz says she, <laughs> she twerk. <laughs> Can I twerk? Like, I twerk like a white girl. <laughs> hey, I don't know. Chat? Talk to chat. So do you eat butt? Like, do you eat ass? I've never eaten an ass in my life. Really? <laughs> hey, Dante. Dante, get him out of here. Something I notice about you, like you're always digging in, you're always trying to dig out of something, like digging out of a jail cell, you're always trying to like dig. I feel like oh, you feel deep. trapped, like there's something holding you back from what you really want. This is a psychological projection of my yeah. own internal struggle. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Either you're trying to find something or you're trying to get away from something. Right. Maybe they were right. Why do I keep finding excuses to dig holes? The only way to find out was on the other side. 35 hours in, four feet deep. The question was, how much more could I take of this endless suffering and toil? 9.40 p.m. right now, chat. Are you kidding me? I have another third bloody nose. <sighs> Here we go again, chat. All right. Good night. As the chat watched me fall asleep, it was day three, and I was still underground. All right, get up. This looks like a baby, chat. <sighs> I've been in this hole for 43 hours, chat. My wrists are fucked up right now. Yeah, I'm about to run the first call. It's what outfit you're gonna wear today between a tuxedo romper, Bowser, Mario, and a romper suit. Romper has won. Uh, Alright. What do you think, chat? And with good sleep for once, plus a well balanced breakfast chosen by chat, my body finally had the fuel it needed to make some serious progress. Yeah. I could barely work in peace as Chad eventually forced even my own team to work against me. Mike, what are you doing out here, Mike? You look mega sus right now, Mike. No, I want to see how deep you got into our hole. No, man, this kind of scary. Oh. What the hell? Mike. Ouch. Mike. Ah, oh, Jesus. Forcing me to take a step back and remember the reason I was doing this in the first place. Chat says, your goals are beyond our understanding. No, it's the human urge to dig a hole, metaphorically and literally. 
We dig holes even while knowing the hole will be filled by someone else, by our own demise, or by time itself. So I kept digging. I didn't know what or who I would find at the other side of this tunnel. But there was no going back now. And in poetic fashion, God answered my questions with a storm, testing my strength once again. Oh, it's, oh, raining? it's raining? Oh, oh, oh snap. Here's, here's. There's, there's thunder. thunder. Over, over. I literally smell, smell rain, rain right, right now. now. It's, it's coming, coming down, down a little over there. God himself stopped our stream with a flash flood from the effing heavens. If we get hit with a storm again, not only might we lose the stream, we might get flooded. That would be potentially life ending. As God taketh, he also giveth a pull in, in this case. There's a pull. It will ask you if I should be able to go on a double date or not. Yo, is that a guilt? Oh my goodness. Oh. Hola. An angel from heaven. What the hell is this? Oh no. Angels from heaven. How's it going? Hello, how's it going? What's your name? Lindsay. So guys, you need to do a two minute pitch. A two minute pitch? Two minute pitch, why it should be you. Well, I'm a ninja. Is that an acronym or? No, no, I'm literally a ninja. Oh. Yeah. You ninja. flex? Yeah. Yeah, I can do some tumbling, a backflip. Um, you can dig? I can sing. Can we hear some? Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail. That was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for your pitch. Yeah. I like to hear what you have to say. I have a lot of wisdom and I have a great sense of humor. Old lady for the meme. <laughs> <laughs> what do the results say? 59 to 41. What? That's cool. Wow. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> she said she's about to cry. <laughs> hey, they're, they're just being trolls. Don't listen to them. It was a pleasure to meet you. We're going to send you back up. I'm getting a back massage live. You need one. While the chat blessed me with a rejuvenating date from a literal goddess who gave me a back massage, my body was broken. I was only five feet deep, and it was now day four in the hole. Alive. And since the chat knew how much further I had to dig, they decided to gift me with a small shovel and see how much damage I could do. The chat just gifted me with this questionable upgrade. This thing is amazing, chat. I'm reinvigorated with the onslaught and hope I can do this. Rage with me, brothers. Scream with me, brothers. I'm getting deep, boys. I'm getting deep. Get me out of here. I want to go home, chat. Come on. Come on. It's been four days. I was finally starting to make some insane progress. I could smell the taste of freedom in the air, and the entire world began to rally with me. Super Buster says Macedonia's rooting for me. People from Bosnia, all of Yugoslavia, the Brits, Bulgaria, the Soviet Union even, the whole world, chat. I am leaving tonight, or I'm going to die trying. Heat stroke our freedom. So I kept digging and digging and digging and digging and digging. I was sweating gallons of water by the hour. This is disgusting. But from the outside, it looked like I was only halfway to freedom. Losing my sanity in the process, I hadn't seen sunlight in four days and nights. This is the most psychologically overwhelming experience I've ever had in my life. Hiram says the cult don't give up. Right. But I might need sleep. Dante just measured. How deep, how deep have I dug thus far, Dante? Nine, six. I will not tell you how far it is above, but we're uh, in the double digits. I didn't know if this was gonna take me hours, days, or weeks to get out. All I had was the chat, the cult, my loyal viewers that gave me emotional support on this journey. They were all I had down here. While the chat thought I literally died mid-sleep, it was day five, and I had to get out before I lost my mind. Pudzer says, Tyler, mental health check. How are you? Physically, I'm I'm broken. Mentally, I'm excited to get out and I feel a new ray of hope. I truly do believe I can do this today. 100 hours in, on the brink of insanity, I had to push my body to its limits if I didn't want my mind to break. <laughs> Come on, inner strength. Come to me. Cometh. Cometh. Chat was worried for me, and I was losing it. Mario! Mario! Ah! It's me! Mario! Mario, I'm gonna win. <laughs> Chat's the only thing keeping me alive. Mario! 
I've gotta get out of here, Jack! I wasn't gonna sleep until I got out. No matter how hot it got, I decided it was either heat stroke or freedom. And the chat, who now wanted me to be free just as much as I did, decided to gift me some even better tools. Loki, we're making mad progress. I'm upgrading. I've upgraded to this. And whatever this is. Freedom! It's pending. This right here goes hard. I wasn't alone anymore. The chat was fighting this battle with me. I was digging nonstop, and it seemed like nothing could stop me. I was 19 feet deep. I could smell the fresh air from the other side. This was it. I can hear crickets. Chat, we're getting close. We're getting close. This was it. Brandon says, Tyler, just end this already. We've suffered enough. I had one more foot to dig. Ah! It was time to end this at whatever the cost. Ah! I see light, I see a tiny, tiny glimmer. The final few pounds begins. I penetrated the abyss inches from freedom. From, from freedom. And I go home. But sadly, I forgot how massive my butt was as the unthinkable happened again. Oh! He's almost out of here! Oh my god, it's like... I was having a panic attack as the claustrophobia hit me out of nowhere. It's like... It's like... I need air. I'm gonna have a panic attack. Literally got stuck in there for a second. Scariest moment of my life. No worse feeling than getting stuck in a hole. Ah! I'm fucking stuck. <sighs> okay. Right. With a few more scrapes of my shovel, it looked like this time I could fit, even with my massive peach. Oh, you made it! I made it out. I'm going out. Oh my god. Oh. I'm shaking. I thought I was gonna die today. I'm literally about to pass out. Let's get the three million subs. Join the cult. While I spent five days under a rock, our cult above ground was growing, and enemies opposed to our goal of world domination eventually had found me.